What's going on guys, we're coming at you with another MLB The Show 19 video. Today we're trying to draft that 12-0 team and I've been making a lot of mistakes recently so we don't want to make any mistakes here today going for 120 or more likes on this video. Feel free to subscribe if you guys are new on the road to 40,000. Comment anything down below. Maybe if you've faced this Chris Dale card yet or even used him, let me know your thoughts on him. Feel free to follow on any of the social media. Sub to that Fortnite channel if you guys want to down in that description. And thank you so much to our channel members for the extra support. We're going to go ahead, draft this team, and then hop into the first game or two with this team. Try to start off undefeated. Let's see who this first round contains. It is, ooh. I kind of want to do Tulo, man. I think, I'm a, I think I might have to go with Tulo Witzki here. Let me know in, in, in the comment section who you guys would probably choose in this round. I think I'm going to try out Troy Tulowitzki again. I've used him before, but not as much as I wanted to. So we're going to go too low with our primary diamond round. We can get a lefty reliever, Sean Newcomb, Justin Smoke card. I love his cards. Maybe try to replace him, have him be a bench bat. Yeah, wow. Okay, this is tough. This is so tough. So Harmon Killebrew, have I used him yet? I have, and I did one for five. I didn't do that well with him. But Joey Gallo cards are insane. But, dude, Brian McCann's vision is 98, and Gallows is only 53. I'm 2 for 4 with this card with a dinger. McCann, I am 20 for 33. This is the real test, okay? In the comment section below, would you guys go with McCann based on these stats, or would you go on Gallo? And, and you don't have to base it on stats either, like, when you answer, but who would you choose here, McCann or Gallo? Who do you think it would be? Like, if you were in my shoes, who would you be choosing right here? I'm really having a tough time. I love Joey Gallo cards, but I've had unbelievable success with this Brian McCann card. And I would love for that to try to keep going. So his speed's 36. Gallo's is 59. I'm going to do Gallo. My gut says Gallo, so I'm going with my gut. But when I choose Gallo, like just now, I regret it already because I also want McCann. So seriously, let me know in the comment section uh, who you would have chosen. That's one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make in a Battle Royale draft. Choosing between McCann and Gallo. That's one of the hardest decisions I've had to make in a, especially diamond round, I would say this entire year, man. Like, I still don't know which one I wanted to actually choose. We ended up going, obviously. Ooh, plus 13 to those right-handed stats. That's nice. We ended up choosing Gallo, but man, like, I also wanted to choose <laughs> uh, Brian McCann. That was a tough decision. Let's get Tyler Duffy, another right-handed reliever. Colton Wong's been actually having a good year, man. It's kind of crazy. Uh, you know, I think this is his best hitting season probably by far. I'm not 100% sure. I should probably be 100% sure as a Cardinals fan, but I'm pretty sure he's doing well. We'll go Miguel Sano, though, with that amazing power. That's a great Battle Royale card. Ben Zobers, the switch hitter, could be good. Feel free, if you guys want to, to let me know who you would have chosen in this round. I'm assuming between one of these three guys. I'm going to go with Zobrist just because he can pretty much play anywhere. So that means if we get like a gold round for a bench round, I could pretty easily maybe replace first base if I wanted to, or like it, it's going to help me out. And I love Ben Zobers cards. Okay. That's the main reason. Let's see. I could go Matt Belial. I like his pitch selection and I've, I've been trying to draft like a gold righty and a gold lefty recently. If I can, I love Aaron Hicks, Mitch Garver card. That's an amazing card. Yo, the fielding's not great, but that hitting is insane, especially playing up plus 15 to his left-handed stats wow yo that's a good card man that's a great card i'm still gonna go matt belisle if you guys want to there's a lot of rounds i've already asked but if you guys want to feel free to let me know who you would have chosen there uh and if any decision where i haven't even asked if you guys want to let me know like who y'all would have chosen feel free to let me know we can get a starting pitcher pat nation can be my second go-to righty i think that's a good decision um this is kind of tough here it's kind of tough here. So one, two, three, four. Sorry, I'm counting to myself a little bit, but one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to go. Have I used either of these guys to like know if I if I've done well? I, I did okay with Gerard Dyson and four at bats. So it's not really it, it's by no means a good sample size. We can go Gerard Dyson here though. I don't mind that. Get our final starting pitcher. That's fine with me. I need a lefty on the pen. There's one, and hopefully we can get another silver round after this one and get a lefty. I'm gonna go with Buster Posey. I want to try on his swing. I'm over two with him so far, but I want to try on Buster Posey's swing a little bit. And at least there's a lefty reliever in this round. That's fine. Sink or change, I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this pitch selection right here. Even those, honestly, maybe I should go with the one with better control. I feel like that might be a little bit more important. 
Yo, what would you guys do? Would you go with the one that has more control and break? Or would you go with the one that you like the pitch selection better? I'm going to do the control here because I normally don't do that. So we'll see how it goes. And I wanted a gold round for a lefty reliever. It did not work out that way, which is, I guess, fine. And we have two gold rounds, a silver round. So I want to try to replace first base, center field, maybe right field, maybe catcher. So let's see. Doesn't play any of those, but... We could put him at second, put Ben Zobrist at first base if I wanted to get that card. And I kind of do want to get this card. This Puig card looks good too, though. Diamond hitting. Let, let me see this card. I haven't used this one. I've used Puig a little bit. I think I might go Puig here. Yeah, I'm going to go Puig and I think get him out in... Maybe center field. We'll see what happens. But I'm just going to grab Puig here and see how that goes. Silver round. I could do a first baseman I, if I wanted to get Luke Voigt. He's playing up with inside edge plus 11. Yeah, I'm going to go Luke Voigt here. I think that's a good decision. Anyways, a pinch hitter if we don't even use him. Uh, I want to get a backup catcher. One of these two guys. Let's just get the one with a little bit better fielding rating. I want a speed stir if we can. Oh, man. I'm tempted to go Fran Mill Reyes here, pinch hitter. I'm gonna. I'm probably going to have a guy that, yeah, Gerard Dyson, he could be a pinch runner for him. I'm going to go Fran Mill Reyes as a pinch hitter. Plus, yo, dudes, inside edge is on our side today for these teams. So, we got Puig for center if we want. We got a guy for first base. I could replace maybe right field as well if I wanted to. Let's see. I could just go Ken Griffey soon. See, here's the thing. If I draft Ken Griffey Sr., there's a chance I'm using a gold round, and it's not going to be my starting lineup, which I would kind of regret. But at the same time, I don't really want any of these three guys. So... I'm going to go Griffey Sr. We'll see what I end up doing with the lineup. Woo! I'm going to go ahead and make the lineup. Then we're going to get into the first game. Try to start off 1-0 with this team. Sorry if that was kind of a long draft, y'all. We're playing Motown Sound. Our opponent has 76, Eric Thames. I love that card. 98, Matt Williams. 94, Travis Hafner. 83, Devin Mesorocco. Nick Marcakis. Went Merrifield. 85, Richie Ashburn. Wilmer Flores. Chris Volstad. A righty common. Good for us with Joey Gallo leading us off. This is the lineup that I ended up rocking with. And let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section. It's probably a little bit weird looking. I'm very interested to see how it goes. We're going to be hitting first today. So let's try to get some runs here in this first inning. Troy Tulowitzki. Dead center field. Warning track power. So we ground it out with Joey Gallo. We fly out with Troy Tulowitzki. Let's see what Cole Calhoun's going to do. Facing a righty. He's up with inside edge versus right-handed hitters. 1-0 count to him, already in a hitter's count. We could probably expect at least one pitch nearly down the middle here. Let's try to get it and swing at it. That's not a bad pitch to be swinging at, but I'm definitely late on the sinker right there. And ball four to Cole. There we go. Two-out walk. Miguel Sano coming up, facing Pat Nashek here. Let's really try to jump out to a leak. Wow. I didn't expect to hit that pitch that hard, but he hit it hard just straight to the center fielder after one half inning. Still 0-0. Let's see if we can have a good inning on the mound today. Just overall a good, hopefully, game on the mound today. Matt Williams into the outfield. I better cut this off. Come on, Cole. There we go. That's a huge cutoff. So now the double play is still in order. One out base hit here. Travis Hafner. Oh, I thought it was going to be a double play. Come on. It still could be. I doubt it. We didn't even get one. I should have thrown it first. I thought we would for sure at least get one out right there. That's not good at all. Let's go. Striking out Devin Mesoraco. One out away from getting out of trouble. Nick Markakis grounding out, and we get out of trouble. After one inning, it's still 0-0. I need to hit a little bit better than I did in the first inning. We got into some good counts, so I'm happy about that. I was watching balls, swinging at strikes for the most part. Obviously, probably not every single time. But I need to keep that going, work on that a little bit. Still room for improvement, always room for improvement. And just try to get some of these to fall for a base hit. We've had a few warning track flyouts. We're hitting the ball decently, but obviously not good enough as Ben Zobrist comes up to bat here. Ben Zobrist. Oh, man. I don't think it's going to be warning track. Yeah, not quite warning track from Ben Zobrist, but... I feel like I'm seeing the ball well, man. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good today as Puig's coming up here. Two down. Top of the second inning. Yasiel Puig. Man, that one I don't think was quite as good as the first two, but that one still felt pretty good. But can't find the holes right now. We got to start. Ooh. Yeah, one more floors with the base. And I tried to paint the outside corner with the... Uh, with the fastball. And you guys know me. I have a lot of trouble... Actually locating my spots. We just threw it down the middle. Low in the zone, but uh, he's still able to grab a base hit. Two down. 
bottom of the second. Let me know in the comment section below, do you guys ever like focus on hot and cold zones? I never do when I'm pitching and I, I don't know if like any, that, like anyone uses that strategy. If anyone who watches my videos or plays this game uses the hot and cold zones when they're playing online. I don't know if that makes a difference at all. And if you guys use it, has it seemed to work for you? Do you guys like using it? If you've tried to use it, has it not worked for you? Let me know because I tried it back in like maybe MLB 16 or 17, but not this year or last year really that I, I can remember at all. For sure, I have not used it this year, so I'm curious. Joey Gallo, ooh, hit it hard. Just straight to that first baseman. That's my final end of the third inning, guys. And now is where I get scared, okay? I get scared because it's the top of my opponent's lineup. Eric Thames, a great home run hitter. Matt Williams, great home run hitter. Travis Hafner probably could hit a home run because he's a diamond card and everything. And this is where I start to get a little bit nervous in Battle Royale with how my pitching has been all year. Because if I make a mistake, there's a decent chance that I give up a solo home run and the game's over and I lose without even winning a game. So that's what I don't want to have happen. And we're two outs away from going to extra innings. We're going to see if we can get these final two outs here in this game. Send us to extras. Travis Hafner, what do you know? Walk off home run two down in the bottom of the third inning wow <laughs> dang man i didn't even have a hit that game what's wrong with me why am i doing so terribly recently man i can't win games in battle royale it's driving me crazy i didn't even have a hit in that game man that sucks that really sucks. Yo, Zigord, it always makes me feel a little bit better about losing after receiving a message like this. So thank you so much. Shout out to I appreciate the kind words and GG's. Hopefully you enjoy seeing yourself in this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If y'all enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below. Feel free to follow on any of the social media. Sub to that Fortnite channel if you guys want to down in that description. I'm sorry again for losing. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you as always for watching. I will see you next time. Peace out. I know hit chances obviously are not the end all be all. If anyone cares what the hit chances were from that game, uh, here are the hits. And as you guys can see, here's the Travis Hafner homer. It was the 11. It wasn't either of those 15s. And there's my opponent's out in case you guys want to see him. And then my, obviously, I don't have anything for hits, right? Uh, and then there's my out. So we had the three 15s up top. That one was a little bit too high for sure. And then the one's kind of lower. Let me see. Let me see the ones under that though. So we have the 11 was one of Gallus. I think that was probably the one I grounded out on. Then the one up top was the line out. Tulowitzki, I don't remember what happened with Tulo uh, in his at bat. I think we had that deep warning track fly out maybe. And then so Sano had a 15 down here. Cal uh, Voight had a 15 down here and then Zobra. So that one is a 15 below there. So of my eight ounce, six of them were 15s. Wow, that's actually kind of crazy. I feel like I was seeing the ball well, and like I said, though, this is not the end-all be-all. This does not show the entire story. I've had, like, very late jam be a 15 before, right? Um, but I did feel like I was putting some good swings on the ball and everything and just couldn't really get stuff to fall for base hits.